Hey, Kerry Gregmeyer with Best of U.S. Homes, Birmingham, Alabama. I planned to do a video this morning on uh, the five channels that I use to generate uh, listings for my business. I consider myself most primarily a listing agent, and I'll explain why I choose to do that. But something happened yesterday afternoon and then this morning that caused me to want to do a different video, and it's basically why I bought a thousand shares of Zillow stock this morning. Uh, that was almost a $50,000 purchase on my part, so it meant a lot to me. Uh, so I wanted to share why I did that. It all started yesterday when I got an uh, email from Greg Schwartz. He is the um, uh, executive of marketing and media uh, for, for Zillow. Um, it informed me that they had bought a lender, Mortgage Lenders of America, um, and they were incorporating into their business and they would be uh, offering mortgages to, to their, their clients, the, the people who visit Zillow. He then went on in a second paragraph and said that they, were, they would be applying for a real estate license in Arizona. Didn't give a whole lot of understanding behind that, but I had a pretty good idea why. Then this morning on CNBC, I watch Squawk Box every, every morning on CNBC, Spencer Raskoff, he's the CEO of, and, and I believe he's the founder of, of Zillow. He came on to give some further explanation, and I think it had a lot to do with the fact that the stock uh, in overnight trading had dropped by 17% based on this news and the news that their revenues uh, for the, the like period of last year had increased by 23%, but nonetheless the stock was dropping by uh, 17%. I'm an ex-retired or I'm a retired financial advisor, so I understand stocks and it's a part of my life and I saw an opportunity. I personally believe that uh, Zillow is a disruptor. Um, other people that I put in the categories of disruptors include Jeff Bezos of Amazon, and we all know what they have done to the industries that they've gotten involved in. And trust me, they will get involved in the real estate industry. So with that, I wanted to explore with you how is this going to affect you and exactly what is it all about. Well, what it's about is they earlier, Zillow that is, bought a company in Phoenix, I believe it is, who was in the business of saying to people in Phoenix, and then I think they moved into Los Angeles, if you have a house for sale and you want immediate cash, we'll buy it from you. And what they do then is they go in and fix the houses up and market them, and uh, through their agents, they sell them. And that's their business. Well, they Zillow bought them several months ago, and they started this um, this plan, and they're expanding it now into Atlanta and uh, in Denver. And what they'll basically do is, uh, if you uh, if you come to Zillow and say, "I want to sell my house and I want cash immediately," Zillow will do their algorithm on it, um, and, and probably have some premier agents of, uh, that are affiliated with them go out look at the house, and Zillow will ask, offer them a cash price for their house. Now, now th this, this will appeal to a certain caliber of, of, uh, uh, of home sellers. And what Zillow will then do is, once they make the decision to buy the houses, and they've already started to do this, um, they'll, they'll go in and they'll fix it up, and they'll pre-sell the house. That is to say, they'll start putting pictures up and information up on their newly acquired houses, um, probably before they even close on them. But once they close, they'll get in there, they'll have, have the contacts with the, the, the carpenters, the plumbers, the tile people, whatever, and they'll revamp that house very quickly, and they'll promote it on, on, on Zillow. And uh, they'll probably offer some sort of premium uh, to draw people towards it. Now, who's going to act in, as their agents? Their premier agents, the people they already have a relationship with. So. It, this will be another incentive for you and I, who, in my personal case, have no interest in becoming a, a premier agent, that is, sending them a check every month so that I get leads that I can't handle. Um, 
but it would be another incentive that we're going to, in fact, give you listings now of, of our houses that we've bought. Does that sound like they're in competition with you? Yes, it does. And if you would, uh, go to my website, uh, bestofushomes.com, go to my blog, go back to my June 8th blog, and my June 8th blog is entitled The Future of Real Estate Business, and you're going to see that I predicted this two months ago. Uh, the only thing I got wrong was the name of the real the uh, mortgage company. I thought it would be Rocket Mortgage. They didn't want to spend that money, that big of money, but they will eventually. They'll buy Rocket Mortgage uh, as they suck them up as well. So that's what's happening. How is this going to affect you? How is it going to affect me? Number one, it means that I got to become better at what I do. Number two is it, if, it, it means that I've got to not only distinguish myself from every other agent in this community in saying what I can and will do for you that no one else do, I'm going to have to include Zillow in that in the very near future. Um, what I can do for you that Zillow can't do because they are going to become part of the competition uh, in the future. And so you need to be aware of this. You need to follow this and watch what they're doing. Now, the other thing that you need to know is where is, where is Zillow going with this? Well, I did a blog on December the 3rd of 2017 that kind of spells this out. There's, if you don't know the words predictive analytics, um, this is what Amazon uses to predict what the next thing you're going to buy on Amazon is going to be. Um, they say they have a 60% accuracy and they actually know what you're going to buy before you do. Um, trust me, they're, if they say they can do that, they can do that. Uh, so how is that going to play into Zillow's game? Well, in the near future, you're going to go to Zillow, or a buyer is going to go to Zillow, and he's going to make a determination, and let me use an example, that they want to buy a house for a million two in Birmingham, Alabama, and they like Mountain Brook. So, or maybe they like Greystone, or maybe they like Liberty Park. But they're going to they're gonna show a preference towards a neighborhood. They're going to give a thumbs up to a neighborhood, and they're going to give a thumbs down to a neighborhood. Then as they go through the homes, they're going to be offered the ability to put a thumbs up or a thumbs down on every picture that they see. Zillow will gather this information and then compare it to all the homes that are in that marketplace that they have chosen they want to live in, and they will narrow it down for the people to maybe two, three homes that fit their thumbs up and thumbs down. Then <clears throat> what Zillow will do is say, we've got the agent, just the right agent, to show you that house and they will assign it to their premier agent and um, they'll own that part of the business. They then will offer the mortgage because of what they're doing with this buy your home now situation. They're going to have contact with all the carpenters, the painters, the plumbers, the roofers. They're going to have all that. They're going to have the contact with the uh, uh, f photographers. Uh, the the uh, closing attorneys, they're going to be able to, and, and, and I, I, I laughed when I heard Spencer this morning, Spencer, the CEO of Zillow, say it will be part of Zillow's entire real estate package. The key word there is package. They're going to package our job, and they're going to offer it, and we're going to, we're going to be in a, a point of decision, and the point of decision has to be made today. Are you Toys R Us, or are you Neiman Marcus? That's the decision you have to make today, because Toys R Us was put out of business by the big disruptor. That's where Zillow's going. They see a vulnerability, and they're going after it. That's you and I. Now, I've hedged my bet. I bought a thousand shares of Zillow this morning. If they're going to put me out of business and, and they're going to grow to the size of Amazon, I'm going to own a part of them. That's how I'm going to approach this. Again, the message is 
Develop your skills. Become a purple cow. Become the agent in your community that can and will do for your clients things that other clients can't or won't do. And then you're going to have to add Zillow to that sentence. So, we know what's coming. We're going to pay attention. We're going to watch their every move and we're going to anticipate their moves and position ourselves accordingly. And we're going to grow our businesses together. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Become a, part, a follower of my website and my Facebook page. And I'll share everything that I have about the business. If there's anything else that you th would like to ask me, would like me to share with you, go to the comment section here and ask. I read every comment. I respond. Um, I want to help you grow your business as I grow mine. Thank you.